this is the Lyonnais ticket in order to get the bus and I'm gonna take the bus to go to Neuville. So guys, I'm about to show you the city today, a tour of Neuville, the city where I am now. But before, I stopped by to a traditional French restaurant and I'm gonna eat a, the four, what we call the uh, formule complète, which include entrée, plat, dessert, three dishes. And the first one is the entrée which is a salad of tuna that looks fantastic, that looks very good and fresh for this super warm, hot day here in Neuville. So that is the salad and as usual, it comes with free or include water in France and two slices of bread. And this is huge bread. This is a huge slide and very fresh. As you can see, let's practice a little bit your French. This is carotte râpée. This is tomate. This is thon. This is betterave. I don't know if you do have in your country, but this is also very good. And this is salade verte. A salad is absolutely delicious. The slice of tuna has been chopped just like a sashimi it's very good very good everything's fresh i'm quite surprised by this small restaurant one typical things that french love to do is to take a piece of bread and put it like that into your plate and we call it saucé avec son pain saucé avec son pain which means sauce with your bread and this is the main dish plat principal this is cabillaud cod this is gratin de courgette zucchini gratin and this is frites fries okay so i'm about to try let's first with the cabillaud with some of this courgette zucchini. Let's see what it's like. Mm. Not too bad actually, not too bad. Sometimes fish is good. And this is the frit. Mm. It's nice also. That french fries is definitely homemade. And now in France, we have a problem because a lot of um, dishes are no longer homemade, you know, especially fries and all of this stuff. They are frozen and such, you know, because, you know, people tend, they, they start to be more lazy and they want to do less and less, you know, than before, which is really a pity. And it's also a problem when it comes about um, the bread all the boulangerie things, you know, and the viennoiserie and the cake are not really longer um, homemade, which is really changed literally completely the taste. But that restaurant here, it's a big surprise, but it's still homemade, you know, it's still, uh, everything is homemade, even though it's not, um, I guess, not the most well-known and famous, but it's always good to come across this type of place that still deliver homemade product for a very reasonable price. It's all what we're looking for and to me, that's all what France is about, you know, especially when it comes about food. And guys, now it's dessert time, le temps du dessert. And I've got it, oops, oh God. 
is just dropped right on the video. The English cream, creme anglaise here just dropped. So unfortunately, but I still have some. But anyway, this is a tarte tropezienne. So it's basically a, some layers um, of kind of cake based um, and on top there's some sugar and inside there's some uh, creamy creamy type of cream I don't exactly know what the, the cream is but what I know is that this tart is from Saint-Tropez it's from the south of France and it's uh, usually consumed it's a pastry it's a patisserie and it's usually consumed during the um, summer and I think it was uh, popularized by uh, Brigitte Bardot. You might have heard of her. She was a uh, famous actress back in the 60s. She was very pretty back in the 60s. And now, if you look her face, Brigitte Bardot in 2022, she is not that as pretty, so to speak. Don't want to be rude or anything, but I just have to tell you. And that has nothing to do with age, by the way, but I think that uh, actress turn a uh, beater so as a result uh, that just uh, you know a little story about her because she used to be a big icon even though i always prefer catherine deneuve i think she was more to me she was more attractive but anyway so um let's try this start mm. delicious and melty so what you can do is you can put your cream, that's cream on top, and the chantilly as well, the chantilly creme, creme chantilly, and you can eat that all together, and it's it's fantastic, it's super good. I love it. It's good. It's not too heavy. However, you can't find that everywhere in France. It's um, one of the uh, French iconic pa pastries but you just can't find it everywhere. Generally, you can find it, you know, because it's quite popular, but just not like a big uh, eat or classic. You know, sometimes I like it, and there's, of course, different type of quality and range about this tart tropezien. Mm. So if you are in France, definitely try this one, if you happen also to be in Saint-Tropez or in the south of France. Okay, so guys, this was the restaurant, La Table de Gaston, Gaston's Table, typically French, hard to came across and be more French than that. By the way, they also do some a menu, frog menu, as you can see, right, Men menu grenouille, which is a specialty about the area. And they also have salad and all the stuff. They really, you know, like advertise the typical French way with this uh, stuff, the board, ardoise. And honestly, for that meal, I would give a solid eight out of 10. That was very good. The staff was polite, was very efficient. Everything was smooth and good. Typical good French product. I really enjoy it. And it was cheap. I mean, cheap for the... Uh, inflation time that we are now it was for a um, entrée plat dessert so basically uh, again the starter main dish and dessert that cost me 16 euro and 50 cents which is less than 20 us dollar which is very reasonable so if you want more content like that you know what you have to do right click like subscribe and until next time Catch you up soon, later. Merci et à bientôt.